Hello, parents and students of Freedom Classical Academy. This is Mr. Christensen. I'm the Executive Director of Freedom Classical Academy. It is my pleasure to be able to present this short video tutorial about our dress code. This is for both incoming and returning families, so please pay attention. The purpose of our dress code is to provide a safe and engaging learning environment free of distractions or socioeconomic distinctions. When students come to school, we want this to be a focused, safe learning environment. When students uh, are out of dress code, it often can lead to bullying, arguments, distraction, etc., depending on what's worn. So we just want to stay really focused on why we're here at the school, and that is to learn. And the uniforms help us do that. So we appreciate your support in sending your kids to school in the appropriate uniform. For the tops, students must wear red, white, blue, or gray school polos. Boys must tuck in their shirts, while girls do not need to tuck in their shirts. Our polos may be purchased from the school uniform provider. More information about them is available on our website under uniforms. We do have a couple back to school events where uniforms are available for sale at the school, and we'll send out more information about that as it becomes available. But they are also available for purchase online or in their storefront here in town. The bottoms must be navy blue, black, or tan khaki uniform bottoms. Skirts are acceptable on girls, but must be knee length. No denim, leggings, jeggings, yoga pants, etc. I want to focus really quickly on the denim. No denim is allowed Monday through Thursday at the school, independent of what color it is. For girls' hair, it must be conservative, no unnatural colors. Hair pieces must not distract from the learning environment. Um, for the hair pieces, sometimes students are sent to school with these really cute hair pieces, but they're huge and they distract from the students behind them. So please just make sure that the hair pieces are appropriate size and they're not going to bob around and distract the student sitting behind your student. Also, the little headbands with ears or characters, etc., on them can become a very severe distraction in the classroom. So we please ask that you leave those at home. Uh, for jewelry, no more than one pair of earrings, which cannot be longer than one quarter inch. So no big hoops, dangly earrings, etc. We also forbid gauges and body piercings. Boys' hair must be off the collar and off the ears. No dyed hair, mohawks, man buns, or mullets. Also, no facial hair. Um, so while, again, the bleached hair may look good, it is not permissible on campus, so please make sure for both boys and girls that you do not bleach their hair. Belts must be worn by boys in grades one through eight. Those belts must be conservative, um, they shouldn't have spikes, designs, large belt buckles, etc. Girls are not required to wear belts. Shoes should be conservative, but we do allow some individual expression for our students um, in their shoes. We ask that they do not have any lights, wheels, etc. They must be closed toed, so no sandals and no Crocs. Students are required to wear athletic shoes on days they have PE, which is twice a week, so please. Look at your student's schedule and make sure you're sending them to school with the appropriate pair of shoes. All right, on Fridays, we do allow a little bit of a dress down for our students. At the beginning of the school year, we, we sell t-shirts called Friday shirts that will have a school design on them, and students may purchase those and wear those every Friday. They may also wear a t-shirt from the university which they would like to attend when they grow up. Um, please remember that professional sports teams are not universities, so we shouldn't be seeing Raiders or Golden Knights shirts on Fridays. With those t-shirts, they can wear blue or black denim, as long as those that denim does not have any holes in it. So again, denim jeans are permissible on Friday if they are blue and black and do not have any holes or the bleached, the heavy bleached uh, look on them. They should be solid blue or black. Outerwear, this includes jackets, pullovers, sweaters, cardigans, etc. It must have the school logo on it. The school does sell outerwear every year, so please look out for when those become available. But only school approved outerwear is allowed inside the building. This is a change from previous years. 
In previous years, we did allow students to wear solid colored jackets in the classroom without the school logo, but it became severely abused. So now those solid colored red, white, blue, or gray uh, outerwear are permitted outside, but not inside of the building. So if they want to wear them to recess, etc., they are allowed to do that, but they cannot wear them in the classroom. Parents, we really appreciate your support in helping us make Freedom Classical Academy a safe and inviting learning environment, and uh, appreciate your support. Thank you.